Good day, tennis fans, and welcome back to Tennis Now's Wimbledon coverage. I'm Ted Leepak, and this is your Wimbledon update. Roger Federer started off the day with a straight sets win over Fabio Fugnini. Milos Raonic followed suit with a straight sets win of his own over Santiago Giraldo. Both players looked good on the court, and we expect to see them both deep into the tournament. Sam Stozer faced off with Arantxa Roos, who came out strong to take the first set. Then Stozer bageled Roos in the second. Roos recovered from that blow and won the third set to take the biggest upset of the day over the fifth-seeded Sam Stozer. Then the rain came to give the tournament schedulers a big headache. Many matches scheduled for today will take place tomorrow, including both the world number ones, Novak Djokovic and Maria Sharapova's respective matches. At a meeting held at Wimbledon, representatives from all four majors, the International Tennis Federation and the WTA Players' Council drafted a strategy for officiating grunts through the use of a yet-to-be-developed handheld device that will measure decibel levels. The new rules would not affect the current crop of top WTA players, whose grunts have become an inherent part of their successful games, like the world number one Maria Sharapova. The focus is on juniors to prevent them from hindering the growth of the game. A member of the top 20 who is on the ATP Player Council says men should be paid more than women at tennis tournaments. Gil Simon, a Frenchman seated 13th at Wimbledon, told reporters he thinks men's tennis is ahead of women's, and men spend twice as long on court as women do at Grand Slams. All four Grand Slam tournaments pay equal prize money to men and women, though Simone thinks this doesn't work in sports. Simone was elected last weekend to a two-year term on the ATP Player Council. Prince Charles visited Wimbledon today for the first time in 42 years, meeting with some former players and watching Roger Federer's match from the Royal Box on center court. Charles chatted with the former British number one, Tim Hinman, before taking his seat in the Royal Box alongside his wife, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, who also came to Wimbledon last year. Federer and Fugnini bowed to the royalties before the second round match. Be sure to take a peek at our Wimbledon preview edition featuring Roger Federer and Maria Sharapova, with breakdowns of the draws, interviews with the players, and much, much more. Remember to check us out at TennisNow.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter with up-to-the-minute updates for Wimbledon. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. We'll see you tomorrow here on Tennis Now.